Good afternoon guys, Gaz Pod Sim Society here with another video for you. Uh, today we are looking at a question that was raised in relation to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, where somebody has asked about uh, the seating passengers in uh, the PMDG 737 series of aeroplanes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through on how to set this up. Uh, there are two stages to this. The um, stage, first of all, that you do is within the FSDT installer. And then the second stage is something that you take a look at whilst you're in the aeroplane in the cockpit. So I'll, go, I'll guide you through both sections. First of all, we're going to start off with the um, one to do with the installer. So I'm going to open my start menu and do FSDT installer. And let's open the installer. Wait for the installer to load. There we go. And it's automatically come up with my copy of 2020. I know there's an update to do, I'll do that later. So the first bit we want to do is go into config. Wait for the configuration configuration screen to load. And then once that loads, you'll see the next step. So you've got your jetway controls and your services controls. Uh, I'll go into those at a later stage. So you'll see that it's adding all the variants and the bit we're interested in will appear down here in the bottom right hand corner. Wait for it to do its processing and its loading which should only take about uh, 30 seconds to a minute or so. So there we go. So everything's all there. These are all the airplanes I've got installed at the moment. So what we're going to do, I'm just deselecting one while I'm in there, uh, is the fact that we're going to select the 737-700. So we'll do that for both the passenger and the BBJ version. Um, and these are seated passengers. So obviously the cargo variant does not show. Because the cargo variant you're just literally loading from the outside. So there we go. Um, right, so I'm going to close that window down. So wait for it to do its processing once you've clicked on each tech mark. And wait for it to reappear where it says seated passengers in MS, MS in 2020 MS. I've got the store version. Um, so yeah, we'll close that down and you'll see that it starts to do a bit more processing. You'll see it's updating the GSX Pro layout. Once it's done that, that's now disappeared and we can now safely exit out of the installer. I'm now going to load my copy of Flight Sim. So we'll go into the sim and then I'll be back with you shortly. We'll pause the video and I'll come back to you as soon as the sim is loaded. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're loaded into the sim. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to start the boarding process. So we'll go up to the GSX menu and we'll start boarding. Now boarding it should requested. be picking up the uh, the weights uh, from my payload page, which at the moment I've got set to 70 people and 1800 so it should uh, start loading 70 people now this particular is a remote stand so they should be doing a walk-in jobby yeah, I've got cargo loaders there so what you'll see happens is they will stop, uh, make a start And whilst everything is getting connected and the, we're waiting for the passengers to uh, start walking down, I'll once again um, be back to you in a second. Okay, now we're back with you. Uh, one of the things you'll see now that the passengers are starting to walk in. Uh, it's picked up the amount of people from the uh, payload screen, which is really cool actually. Um, so it means you can customise that. Uh, quite easily. Now what we're going to do is on the 7 PMDG 737 the door uh, does not open or close so you literally just walk through it. Now most aircraft you leave the door open and you can see the people. Now you'll see they're walking into the aeroplane and sit down but they disappear and you think well I've selected seated passengers. On the 737 there is a way of um, given the fact the door is non-operational, not modelled, 
it's done a different way and it's done on the overhead panel and uh, this switch here which is labelled chime if you turn the chime motor off you'll see now within the internal cockpit let me go to the right view this way. hang on Welcome on board. hang on one second let me go to the right sort of view that I've got preset you'll see now that they are actually all sitting down so a key point to remember with the 737 within the cockpit you need to make sure you have the chime set to off otherwise the seating passengers will not appear seat belts doesn't seem to affect anything Hello. at all but the chime control certainly does so it's a key point to remember to have that selected to the off position in order to have them um, shown as being sit back down now if you want to a bit like how closing the door with the phoenix and other aeroplanes if you turn the chime to on the passengers will all disappear again and you can use that to save on a bit of fps like for example if you're on the ground taxiing or whatever and then all you do is turn that chime back off again back to off again and you'll see the fact you've got all your people back again so there we go so that kind of concludes this tutorial on how to enable seating passengers within the pmdg 737 series of airplanes i'm pretty certain this will apply to the 600 800 and 900 as well so there we go if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up um give us a like and feel some feel free to subscribe to the channel so you get notified once more content goes live thanks for joining me and we'll speak to you again soon